So I really like this figure, and I'm going to kind of zoom in. I'll kind of let you take it, soak in the words, what it says. But basically here we are again, I guess, talking about those um, zodiac constellations. <laughs> but we're leaving the... Um, we're leaving the the celestial sphere and model and kind of taking a look at what the real deal is. So we really know that the um, the the sun actually is because of its gravity um, influencing the motion of the planets. So the planets are orbiting the sun. So if you look closely, I'm going to kind of zoom in so we can see. Um, a particular part of this, you'll notice that um, these are the con uh, constellations of the zodiac. So we have Aquarius, Pisces, Aries, Taurus, and this, these dot, dot, dots back here are where the sun appears to be um, relative to the earth. So for instance, here's the earth in February, and the sun appears to be in Aquarius. Uh, let's do another one. Let's pick on um, Aries. So here the Earth is in April, and the Sun appears to be in Aries. Okay, And like the slide says, it, it looks like the Sun is gradually moving eastward across the daytime sky. Well, not, not across a given day, but from day to day, it looks like it's moving um, against the background stars. Now, I know we can't see the background stars and the Sun at the same time, but... But, but that's the way it is. Um, so just to kind of highlight something, um, I am going to show you um, a table here in a minute of these uh, 12 signs of the zodiac. And it's missing, actually, I, I just kind of, the way I grabbed these slides, I don't have it, but it should be there. I don't know if you can read that. That's called Ophiuchus. So actually, Ophiuchus should be between Scorpius and Sagittarius. Okay, I'll use who in Fucus. Oh, Fucus. It's the 13th um, constellation that the sun passes through. And I think it got left out of the zodiac constellations just because it was maybe kind of inconvenient. I don't know. So let's take a look. So again, I apologize. It really should be right Ophiuchus. I'll put O-P-H right there. Ophiuchus. Okay. Um, so now there are 13. All right. hope that makes sense for you. Um, so one last slide. So uh, this also, not only, I like this diagram because you can see that the sun passes against different background stars. But if we go ahead and pick on February again, okay, pick on February, we said that the sun looks like it's going through Aquarius, okay? But can you see where at nighttime in February, for instance, high up in the nighttime sky, we're going to see the constellation Leo. And then the Earth is going to orbit the sun, okay? Let's look um, three months later, four months later. Let's look May, all right? So in May, May 21st, it's going to look like, um, look like the sun is passing through the constellation Taurus, so you're not going to see Taurus in May. But look what you will see in May. Okay, high in the sky will be the constellation Scorpius. See how that works? So as we orbit the sun, we see different constellations at night. And the sun passes through different constellations during the day.